Thank you very much for taking the time to talk to ICSM Vision today, Lord Winston. Uh, we're very grateful of your time. Um, as you know, ICSM Vision is an outreach society and we aim to help uh, students who have the academic ability and desire to study medicine, uh, but who may lack in support and advice from their schools. And I know you've, been, uh, you've kindly spoke at some of our conferences previously and uh, you're very heavily involved with outreach work here at Imperial uh, through the Reach Out Lab. So can I ask, uh, why do you think these outreach activities are so important? I think the real importance of outreach activity goes back quite a long way. Universities, especially the top universities, tend to be rather arcane, mysterious places where things go on behind closed doors, where the public don't really have access, where you can't actually go in, there's a kind of elite feel about them. And they are threatening to the outside world. And what I think more and more universities are doing, and Imperial I think is leading in many ways in this, is to throw open our doors to show people the wonderful excitement of the science that we do. And that, of course, applies to medicine as much as it does to the other sciences. And I think there's a real need to promote that message because what the health of our society, and I don't mean our simply our illness health, I mean that the well-being of our society depends so much on the quality of this kind of work that goes on at the university. So it's very important for the public to feel that they're connected with it, because after all, to some extent, uh, these universities have been built on taxpayers' money, uh, although obviously more and more people are paying fees, but there is still a massive need for proper support for university activity. And if I could, uh, for a message for our students who will be watching this on our website, um, do you have any particular advice for students considering in, in, on embarking on a career in medicine? I think the most important advice I can give somebody, and it's, this is advice from somebody who didn't want to do medicine. Um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I mean, I had a whole range of, you know, I was thinking about reading English at university. Um, I was thinking about doing a science degree, which is what I registered for initially. And I only ended up doing medicine almost by default. And actually three years after medicine, I gave it up and did something totally different in the arts. So in a way, I'm very uh, aberrant. I'm not quite normal. Um, I think the message I would say is to do what interests you and don't be too too streamlined, it's very important to make sure you get the right A-levels and the right training for the entry for the course you want. That is unquestionably true. It's very important that you get as much advice, not only from the school, but hopefully from the university that you're targeting. But I would argue that a certain independence of mind is often quite useful. Um, and keep asking questions. Be prepared to make sure that what you're doing isn't going to fill you with total uncertainty. Going to university is a very challenging aspect of what we do. It's, um, it's always a bit frightening. Um, I remember being terrified when I, my first year at university, having my photograph taken in what seemed to be like a, a police kind of um, identification parade, I remember. And the photograph, the black and white photograph of my face, looking absolutely pale and terrified, I still remember that photograph. I've got it somewhere. I think it's important to be interested in what you do and to think what medicine might offer to you. In my view, I think that wanting to interface with people is very helpful, but it's not the only way of doing medicine. Medicine has such a broad perspective. There are so many things you can do with medicine. There are some very famous authors who did medicine, Somerset Maugham, for example. There are a number of painters who did medicine. There are certainly theatre directors and writers who did medicine, and there are many politicians and others who did medicine but never actually end up doing medicine um, uh, as, as a career. So it opens up, I think, a wide range of possibilities. What I would say to you is this, finally, is that I can't think of anything more gratifying than doing medicine. And the reason for that is because you will be really useful somewhere. You'll be dealing with people when they're at their most frightened, their most vulnerable, metaphorically if not really naked, when they are worried about dying, when they're worried about being ill, when they're worried about their finances, when they're worried about what will happen to their 
family. And as a doctor, you have a fantastic privilege. You have an ability to see and interface and help people in a way that very few of other members of society can do. So it's a fantastic career. Thank you very much for taking the time to talk to ICSM Vision today, Lord Winston. Uh, we're very grateful of your support, so thank you very much.